beautiful welcome back to my channel my name is Bettina I'm the makeup enthusiast in today's video I'm bringing you my next update on my deck of panning project pan this is coming to you a little bit later because I have some very very exciting progress to share with you so if you want to see how I'm going on my products in this project then stay tuned but before we get into the video if you are new around here make sure you subscribe down below and without further ado let's jump on into the update so Deck of Panning was created by Emily from Emily and Max. It is a prompt based project pan and it's based off like a deck of cards, matches to a game board, yada yada yada. I currently am working on five products. So it's a mixture of usage goals and user up goals depending on what the product is and the prompt is depends on if I go for a usage goal or a use up goal. I have been doing very mixed mixed progress on this project so far up until this point i've had some products in this project since the very start of the year so we've been working on some long term products lately but some of them we are bidding adieu today and i am so excited to share that with you so let's start off right at the gate so the first product that I ever rolled into this project was to match the prompt of a seasonal product. When I first started this project, it was still summer here in Australia. So I rotated in a tan to match this product and I rotated in the Isle of Paradise and I rotated in the Isle of Paradise self tanning water. Now this product has been in the project since January. <laughs> It has taken me so long and it was taking me a very long time to even just get a little bit of progress on this one. So last month I set myself the very ambitious goal of finally having this finished up. It was quite an ambitious goal, but I had just reached my limits <laughs> with this product. I was like, I want this done and dusted. I want to have this product finished. So I set myself that very ambitious goal and it was a bit touch and go. It was very touch and go. This past week, I still had a decent amount of product left in this. And then I was like, maybe I can get it done if I just apply it over my whole body one more time. And it was a success. So this is where it was last month. And as you can see now, it is completely finished. So I applied this like three or four times this month. So I was definitely dedicated to the cause, but I'm finally very very glad to share with you guys that this product is completely finished up i can put a big tick next to this one and we are calling it done so that's the first empty for this update the next product also comes from the first intro of this project and it was to match the prompt of a liquid or cream product now i rotated this product in this was a neo strata glycolic renewal smoothing lotion to match that prompt I've, I've been working on this one very consistently you can see all of the lines tracking it all of the way through this is where it was last month and i am happy to report as well that this one is finished as well i'm so happy to see this one also out of my collection i feel like as i got towards the end of this i started to notice the formula was getting like almost like a little bit thicker um a bit more gloopy so i am very happy to have it finally finished so this is empty number two for this update so we have two very long term products out of this project it's taken one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth update that both of these have been in and I'm so happy to see them gone. I'm so glad that I just persisted with them and I didn't give in and roll them out that I just like persisted because I finally got rid of them. So those two are done. Moving along, we have the item that I rolled in a couple of months ago. This was to match the prompt of in it for the long haul. So I, this, the prompt for this one was to like hit pan on a product or to have it completely used up. It was like a product that you were going to have in for a long time. So to match this prompt, I rotated in my hourglass ambient lighting edit sculpture palette. Now I want to use up the color uh, diffused light in this palette. So I rotated that in. I rotated this one in for a complete use up. And as you can see, I still 
still don't even have pan on this one so this is going to be a long haul product i am definitely starting to notice it's getting flat i think it's going to be very touch and go as to whether i can even get this one finished before the end of the year uh it is definitely flatter and when i look at it on the side I can definitely tell that it is like flatter than the other products in it, but I don't know whether I've given myself enough time to get it finished before the end of the year. I don't really love wearing this all over my face. So at the moment, I'm only using it like as a highlighter. Occasionally I'll use it under my eyes to set my concealer, but for the most part, I'm using it as a highlighter only so I don't think I've given myself enough time to use this up if I only use it as a highlighter so we might I think I'm gonna have to have a play around maybe I can like grab out one of my heavier powders and do like a dip in each for setting my powder maybe that setting my face maybe that's a way that I can get it used up quicker I'm gonna have to continue to experiment with this one because so far when I've used it all over my face I just feel like I look too much like a disco ball and then like when it mixes with my skin oils it just it's it's not for me so maybe I'm gonna have to start to use it as like a blush topper and highlighter just so I'm like covering more surface area um, maybe like in the corner highlight for, for work makeup. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to double around a little bit more with this one just to see if I can get some more usage out of it. I will say, however, there has been a weight drop and I'm actually quite proud of how much I've dropped the weight. So last month it was 141.15 grams and this month it's a neat 141 grams. So I've dropped 0.15 of a gram. These say that each of them is 1.46 grams each for each of the powders. So I'm almost like at that like neat one gram left, if that makes sense. So I I don't I don't think I've left myself enough time to have this one completely finished. It's going to be tight. It's going to be very touch and go, but we'll see how we go. I'm very nervous about that one. I'm very nervous. So that one continues to live on in the project and it probably will for the rest of the year. I'm just going to give you guys the heads up. It rolled in for the long haul prompt. So we knew when it rolled in that it was going to be in for a while. And then the next prompt, which I think rolled in, where's my list gone? The next, I think, two prompts rolled in last month, I believe. So the first one was to match the prompt of a pencil product, and I rotated in this little lip liner from Natasha Denona. So this is the I Need a Nude Lip Liner in Gaia. And I'm actually wearing this on my lips today under my nude lipstick that's currently in my Team Project pan. The reason why I rolled this one in was I just kind of wanted to shorten it a little bit to make it easier to store. I rotated this one in for 20 uses and I have managed to achieve that. So this one is rolling out today. I actually really quite like this lip color. I don't know whether I love the formula, but I do like the color. So I will continue to use this one up. I like the way these sharpen. They're like really smooth to sharpen. I hate when you get those lip liner pencils that are like they're kind of like that nails on a chalkboard kind of feeling when you sharpen this one this one is not like that this one is like super beautiful and smooth to sharpen um unlike others where it's like <laughs> when you sharpen it it's it's a nice one to sharpen <laughs> if that if that sways you at all to buy a lip a lip liner i i don't know and then so that one's rolling out and the last product that i need to update you on is my product that matched the prompt of have a pan so this product already had a pan and then i needed to like set a goal on it so i set the very ambitious goal of having this one completely used up i like i've been over committing myself in this project i think but it is what it is. So I rotated in my Chica y Chico One Shot Eyeshadow in Night Drink. Now I've rotated in the color Contro, which is this color here. This one already had a pan and I rotated this one in to completely use up. Again, I am really setting very ambitious goals in this one. I did take a photo when I rolled this one in and I will pop some like comparisons on the screen now for you guys, but I definitely have 
expanded this pan and I think in my opinion I've expanded it quite considerably so I'm very proud of myself and how much I've expanded this pan I have been using this one to set my eyeshadow primer so obviously I'm using it every single time I do my makeup I think my goal for this one for the next month I want to try and expand the pan like all the way around I don't think I want to like hit corner pan just yet I think I want to make the pan around the edge thinner first because I feel like if I hit corner pan it might loosen the entire pan up if that makes sense so I think maybe now that I've I've like made this quite thin at the top here I might move to like one of the other corners to spread that out a little bit more before I focus on like hitting corner pans if that makes sense I think just the way they have pressed the pan I think if I hit corner pan and then try and move to another corner I think it's just all gonna crumble down so I want to try and keep it like structurally sound <laughs> And then I might like repress it at some point once it gets really thin all the way around. So that's the plan. I might move away from this corner now and move over to this corner. And then next month we'll see like how much progress we've made. So I'm going pretty well on this one. I think this one as well is going to be very close as to whether I can have it completely used up. I've made pretty good progress in just a month. So I think like there's four corners. So another like maybe three or four months I might have this one finished so I still have these two in the project these are both <laughs> these are both in the project for use up goals for completely finished goals so we'll see how we go completing those two but in the meantime I need to pick three new cards for three new prompts we are rotating out these three products let me grab my deck of cards let me pull up the game board and refresh my spreadsheet for the new month's um game board okay let me do my very bad shuffle skills i have a lot of stuff in front of me here so it's a little bit difficult to shuffle that was terrible so i need three cards let's go Pan and gods, please be with me. Okay, let's go. We have the six of clubs. We have the two of diamonds. And we have the seven of hearts. Okay, let's see what prompts those match. So the six of clubs matches to a lip product. Right. Uh, the two of diamonds is random uses and the seven of hearts match matches copycat. All right. Some of those are a little bit copycat is a product you've seen someone else panning. Oh, okay. Uh, random uses. Is that just like a random number generator? Choose a product, randomize a number, one to five, one equals 10 uses, two equals 20 uses, etc. Okay. And what was the other one? Lip product. Lip product is easy. Okay. Let me go into my collection and grab out some products and I'll be back in a second. Alrighty guys. So I'm back. I've got my products. I have gone like... I think a little bit easier on myself, <laughs> which is fine because I think we, we still have like two really difficult products in the project. So I'm going to go a little bit easier on myself for the rest. So starting off with the Seven of Hearts, this is a copycat product. So for this one, I just realized I'm probably not going that easy on myself. I'm rotating in my Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm Face Palette. Now I had to like do a little bit of hunting to see what everyone was panning at the moment. But I noticed that Steph Lyons is panning a highlighter from her Charlotte Tilbury palette in her team project pan or her full face rolling project pan. So I'm going to grab out the nude or the highlighter shade from this nude gasm face palette. I'm going to rotate this one in, I think for 15 uses and we'll see how we go. 
I really want to get some more use out of this palette so I think this is like a perfect little opportunity. The highlighter and the two bronzers look like I've hardly touched them. I have actually hit pan on the blush. I think the blush in this palette is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but the highlighter obviously I don't need very much for it to be impactful on my skin. So there's like hardly any notice of any use on these. And then the two bronzers as well, I've like hardly touched. So I'm gonna rotate the highlighter in for 15 uses and we'll see how we go on that one. And Steph Lyons is currently um, trying to pan her Charlotte Tilbury highlighter in her highlighter palette or in her Charlotte Tilbury palette. Then for number two, the two of diamonds, this is random uses. So I obviously need to get a random number generator up for this one. Um, so I'm just gonna do, it's at like one to five. So let's, and each like level matches 10. So hopefully I don't get five. So let's see. So three, so I'll need to use this one for 30 uses. Um, and I actually picked out the Pat McGrath's Pat McGrath Labs Intensifies Artistry Wand. So this is like an eyeshadow primer. It is like a clicky pen, so I can't even show you like how much is left in here, but I am obviously rotating this one in for 30 uses. I will see how I go. At the moment, I only really use this for like kind of like a glitter primer or glitter like eyeshadow primer or any of my like multi-chromes or like powdery eyeshadow shimmers. So I might need to up or like use this for more uses than just that to get through the 30 uses, but uh, 30 uses on that one. And then last but not least is the seven, wait, seven of hearts, I did that one. The six of clubs, the six of clubs, which is a lip product. For that one, I am gonna rotate in my Mecca Cosmetica uh, lip balm in natural. I have only used this one a little bit, as you can see there. This is how much is left of this one. I think I'm gonna rotate this one in for, uh, let's go 25 uses, just for something different. Let's up the ante a little bit. So 25 uses on that one, 30 uses on my eyeshadow primer, and then for my highlighter, I'm gonna go 15 uses, and then we still have these two in here for a complete use up goal. So we have a bit of a mixed bag now in here. Let's see how we go over the next month. Hopefully I can maybe have at least one roll out next month, but my usage goals are quite high on these. So I don't know whether that's gonna happen, but we'll see how we go. If you are doing this project, let me know how you're going it down in the comments. If you enjoyed this update, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you want to stick around and watch any of my other project panning videos or get notified when those go live, make sure you subscribe down below. That's for this video, beautiful. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, beautiful.